Good evening, beautiful community. I hope you're all doing well this Wednesday night. My name is Donna and tonight I'm offering you some free micro kinesiology balances um, for chakras or emotions. So I'm just also going to bring up the live on my iPad because it doesn't look like the comments are quite working um, tonight. So please bear with me a moment just while I get that side sorted just so that I can start chatting with you all. Um, while I'm pulling that up though, um, here we go, um, I'd like to um, explain what I can offer for you tonight. So um, my name is Donna, I'm an internationally recognised kinesiologist. Hey Alexandra, hey Johnny, hey Kim, hey Rachida, it's lovely to see you again. Hey Rebecca and Brian, hey Rosham. Um, it's so lovely to see you all. Um, as I said, my name is Donna. I'm an internationally accredited kinesiologist. And tonight I'd like to offer you free microkinesiology balances around chakras and meridians. So um, I'll just give a bit of an explanation about what each one um, does and sort of how it works. And then please feel free to pop in your preference in the comments and I will um, pop through and see how many people I can um, help with supporting tonight. So the chakra balance, what I offer you for that is I connect through, connect with you energetically and then I will scan through your chakras and I'll find any chakras that are um, indicating stress for you from a kinesiology perspective and I'll let you know which ones those are and then I'll look for the priority chakra and I'll balance the priority chakra and often that has a flow on effect and then I will check all your chakras again um, and balancing the priority chakra will dive in a little bit deeper as to why it might be out of alignment for you and then I'll provide you um, a balance. If you're after an emotional balance tonight, it's so lovely to see you all coming on, welcome, welcome. If you are after an emotional balance tonight, um, what I do is I use the traditional Chinese medicine um, chart here and we dive deeper into particularly which element, meridian and core priority emotion it is that's showing stress for you tonight from a kinesiology perspective. And then I dive into a little bit deeper into that for you and we look at you know where it might be coming from and um, you know if there's anything that's sort of blocking you from being able to start releasing that and let that go so that you can um, just get that extra support, that extra healing that you might need tonight. So um, let me just pop in. Okay. All right. So do um, please do let me know where you're coming in from. I am coming in from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. We do broadcast globally. So um, I love just meeting everybody from all over the world. And um, so, uh, yeah, please do pop in, say hello. If you are watching the replay, please do pop in hashtag replay. I'd love to come back in and say hello to you. Okay, so just starting at the top. Um, so I can see a lot of people uh, joining us for tonight. I'm not getting a significant amount of comments coming through um, in terms of what people are wanting. So I'm hoping that's okay. So if somebody wouldn't mind popping in a comment for me just to test that. Um, I can see like Johnny and Kim and Rachida um, and Rebecca. So I'm just gonna start at the top and, um, and see how that goes. Okay, so um, Johnny, uh, would you like a balance tonight? Um, please let me know if you'd like an emotional balance or a chakra balance. If there is a delay in the comments, and sometimes that does happen, what I'll do is I'll connect through to you energetically and I'll be guided by your innate awareness what's actually going to be best for you tonight. So I'll just start connecting to you in that process and then I'll check the comments and see if you have a preference. And if there's nothing coming up in the comments yet, I'll be guided by your energy as to which direction you'd like me to go. So, okay. So connecting to Johnny. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in. Okay. So Johnny, we are now connected energetically. What I'm gonna do is just go through um, some various acupressure points and just make sure that connection's as strong as possible. Often after a really busy day, um, you know, we can be um, 
energetically maybe a little bit all over the place. So I'm just going to work at offering you any support if you need it so that our connection is as strong as possible so I can give you the best possible balance. Okay, so doing a balance for Johnny tonight. Okay. So just checking for hydration. So Johnny, it's coming um, up indicating that there's a little bit of dehydration for you from a kinesiology um, sort of standpoint energetically. So I'm going to have a drink on this end, but if you also wouldn't mind having a sip of water on your end and holding that in your mouth for about 10 to 15 seconds, that would be fantastic. Okay. All right, so Johnny, I'm just going to check for any comments. Okay. Okay. So I've gone back out and I've gone back in. I've got some comments up. There are some comments that I was looking at before that have kind of disappeared. So um, if you did comment just as we started, if you could pop back in um, and just let me know what you want, just so that I've got to, um, I can um, see that coming through for you. Okay. So for Johnny tonight, are we doing emotions? Are we doing chakras? So Johnny Chakras has come up for you tonight as the priority um, balance for you to offer you the best support. Chakras. Okay. So I'll just scan through those for you. Crown. Brow. So your brow chakra, Johnny. Throat. Heart. Your heart chakra is showing some stress. Solar plexus. Sacral. Root and your root or your base chakra. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just find the priority for you. So at the priority, are we working with the brow? Okay, heart, root. So it's the heart chakra for you tonight, Johnny. So we'll just dive into that a bit deeper for you. So um, for those of you that are new, welcome. Um, my name is Donna, I'm an internationally recognized kinesiologist and I'm offering free micro kinesiology balances tonight around chakras and emotions. You will see me refer to various things around the room. I do have a number of tools around me that I will access. Um, so if you see me sort of lean off or duck off to one side, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So Johnny, if you can please say for me, I am love. Okay. So we're working with the heart chakra. So Johnny, we're just gonna look at if it's an inward expression of the chakra for you or an outward expression. So is it an inward expression? Is it an outward expression? Inward, outward. So it is an outward expression. So what I'll do is I'll um, go through and I'll have a look which ones indicate any stress for you. And when I mention them, that's because for you, they're very relevant. So it won't be a moment. I'll just do that for you now. So Johnny, what came up for you is creating a daily routine that is in sync with your body's natural rhythms. And that's indicating some stress. And when that indicates stress, that can be sometimes why that heart chakra is um, showing some stress or a slightly out of alignment for you. So. so when the heart chakra is balanced, we feel a deep sense of appreciation for others and an awareness of the many gifts in our lives, as well as enjoying a sense of inner peace. So empathy, passion, Thinking gifts, inner peace. So for you, Johnny, it's showing some stress around the inner, inner peace component of that. 
and doesn't eat anything else. So it's half height, five more minutes. Okay, so um, Johnny, it also indicated some stress around having experienced heartbreak and sometimes that can, and it can be in whatever form, the loss of a loved one, be it, um, you know, a, a romantic partner or a dear friend or a family member or a beloved animal because they are part of our family. Um, but that's what's indicating some stress for you around that. So sometimes other reasons are like abandonment and so forth, but that didn't come up for you. So it was just um, experiencing some heart, well not say just, but out of the selection um, that usually shows some stress for the heart chakra. The one that indicated for you was some stress around heartbreak. So. And again, indicating not feeling a sense of peace. Hey Patricia. Okay. All right. So looking for, are we ready to move on to a balance now for Johnny? Yep. Fantastic. Okay. Are we looking to do a chakra balance? A chakra balance. Mm -hmm. I got the priority. chakra so Johnny for you what's indicating as the balance for you is scanning your chakras again and pulsing the energy around a particular chakra that will help balance and support your heart chakra so I'll just scan through them now and see which one it is for you tonight so crown brow throat so for you it's your heart chakra Johnny so if you can please say for me I am truth For those that are just joining me now, welcome. My name is Donna. I'm here every Wednesday night from 8.30 to 9.30 offering free micro kinesiology balances. Um, if you've never heard of kinesiology before, please do pop over to my Facebook page. The link is in the um, description. And um, please have a bit of a play around in there and explore what that is. There is a short video clip that I'll post to the top at the end of this session tonight that explains a bit more about what kinesiology is. Um, when I do the lives with you tonight, I often, um, I do prefer to spend my time offering as much support as possible. So I do um, uh, invite you to pop over to my Facebook page and, um, and have a look and explore further. Okay, so brow chakra, throat. Okay, so Johnny, I've balanced your heart chakra through your throat chakra, which is about speaking your truth. And I'm just going to go through and scan your chakras again and just check that they're all back in alignment for you. So, um, so it was your brow, your heart, and your base chakra. And they're all showing back in alignment for you now, Johnny. So I hope that was helpful for you. And um, what I'll do now is I'll just... Um, and our connection. So Johnny is now self. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm just going to pop into the comments and have a look. Hi, Karen and Joanne and Ernie and Daryl. It's lovely to see everybody here tonight. And Rebecca and Kate and Tanya. Welcome back. Okay. All right. Okay. So just popping through. So Melissa, Melissa Hopkins, you'd like an emotional balance? All right, so let's do that for you now. Okay. So Melissa, I'm just gonna connect to you. So I'm gonna see if I get some light here. Okay, wonderful. So Melissa, we're now connected. So I'm just gonna to touch um, some various acupressure points just to make sure that connection is as strong as possible. So.
and Melissa, it's coming up some um, acute dehydration from a kinesiology perspective. So often that's if we haven't had enough water continually throughout the day, or um, we've had more sort of caffeinated beverages than we have water. So if you wouldn't mind taking a sip of um, water now and holding it in your mouth for about 10 to 15 seconds, and I'll do the same on this end for you. So I'm just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian and they're showing their imbalance for you. Okay. So we're doing an emotional balance for Melissa. Okay. So Melissa, I'm just going to pop over to the traditional Chinese medicine five element chart. And we're just going to work through which element meridian and which core emotion is coming up for you tonight. Okay, so is it fire, is it earth, earth, metal, water, wood, water. So we're working with the water element, Melissa, bladder, kidney, the kidney meridian. I'm just going to go through now and scan through and see which is the um, core emotion for you that's showing some stress for you tonight. So I'm just going to do another check in with you. It doesn't feel quite right. So I'm just going to go back in, just double check our connection. Yeah. So I'm just offering you some more support through your crown chakra. So if you can please say to Melissa, I am that I am. So I am that I am. Okay. So I'm just going to go through and just double check them again for you. Fire, earth, fire, earth, metal, water, wood, water, kidney, bladder, bladder, kidney. So Melissa, what came up for you was the emotion of anxiety that is showing um, the most stress for you tonight. So that's so it's the water element, the kidney meridian, and the emotion of anxiety. So we're just going to dive into that a little bit deeper for you. Past, present, future, present, future. So for you, it's showing some stress around anxiety in the present and in the future. But when I'm looking for the priority, and kinesiology always looks for the priority, um, it's showing there's more stress. The priority stress to balance with you tonight is stress around the future. So we're just going to offer you some support around that tonight. So... I'm just going to check in with you again, Melissa. I'm just offering you some extra support through your brow chakra. So if you can please say for me, I trust my intuition. So my comments are playing up a little bit tonight. So um, please bear with me. I can definitely um, see everyone popping on and that's lovely. And I can see um, you joining us and um, Crystal and Paula and Carol 
and, just, and Leanne, it's so lovely. Um, just some of the comments aren't quite coming through. So I'm just gonna work from where I'm at and then I'll pop back out and pop back in and they should, um, they should come through for us. Okay. So I'm just gonna check that out. So Melissa, what's coming up for you is stress in relation stress around anxiety in relation to a future circumstance or situation. So please do let me know if this is resonating for you. So what I'm gonna do now is look into the dynamics for you. And the dynamics are, um, I guess, as, as humans, um, we don't necessarily like to feel discomfort or in pain. Um, you know, it's not the nicest um, thing to sort of feel. So often what we do is a range of things just to try and help remove that. So some of them could be um, avoiding it, keeping really busy and just avoiding dealing with the emotion at all. Um, some of it can be um, suppression when we just push it down and we just keep like just keep going and going and we'll deal with it later and just keep pushing it down. So what I'm going to do is just have a look through for you, see if there's anything coming up for you in that space so that we can address that which will enable you to help move you through and to release any stress around that emotion for you. So judgment, silence, judgment, avoidance. So what's come up for you, Melissa, is avoidance. So if you can repeat this affirmation after me, please. So if you can repeat it twice. So I allow the free flow of anxiety within me and around me. So I allow the free flow of anxiety within me and around me. Okay, so moving on, is there any other information for Melissa? Okay, we'll read to neutral balance. Okay, so balance for Melissa tonight, is that through chakras? Nope, is it through an affirmation? Affirmation? Nope, sound. Sound? So Melissa, um, what's come up for you tonight? Your innate awareness has directed me to a sound, a sound balance for you tonight. So I'm just gonna have a look which one it is. Is it the Tibetan healing bowl? Tibetan healing bowl? Is it tuning forks? So Melissa, tonight it is for the, the tuning forks. And what the tuning forks do is I, through various Chinese acupressure, like alarm points, acupressure points throughout the body, I find out the specific cross-section of meridian vibration that you need to help you with this particular support for tonight around the feeling of anxiety towards the future. Okay, so lung, pericardium, heart, heart. So the heart, we're working with the heart meridian and lung, pericardium, heart, liver, liver, gallbladder, spleen, spleen. So we're looking at the heart and the spleen for you. So it won't be a moment, I'll just grab those out. Before I do that, I'm just gonna grab just because the comments are playing up, I'm just gonna grab a few um, requests before I go, just in case it goes a little bit skewish. Okay. So lots of requests for chakra balances tonight, hey guys. Okay, all right. So um, Melissa, I'm gonna pop out of the comments and pop back in and grab the tuning forks. While I do that, could you please pop in the comments for me if you are left or right-handed, please? Thank you, okay. Oh, fantastic, thanks Melissa. I can see all the comments back. I feel so close to you all when I can see your comments, okay. So heart and spleen. Okay. So 
So for Melissa, am I doing the heart chakra? Okay. Am I doing the heart chakra with the right hand? Am I doing the heart chakra with the left hand? Okay. All right. And here, here, mm -hmm. and how many times? Once, twice. Okay, so Melissa, what's come up for you is the vibration of the heart and the spleen meridian and around your, um, your heart or upper chest area and two, um, two dings are the tuning fork for you tonight. So if I can just ask you to sit back, take a nice big deep breath, let it out, just start relaxing and just tune into the sound, tune into the vibration. So I can feel that for you, Melissa. It feels so nice. Okay. Make sure you're doing nice, deep breathing right down to your belly, Melissa. Belly first, then fill your chest, and then release out chest first and then finally the belly. Hey Amber. Hi, Kate and Rebecca. Okay. So just checking with you, Melissa, so that everything feels with the balance. Beautiful, nice. Okay. So Melissa, I hope that's been of some support for you tonight. So what we did for you was an emotional balance. And what came up is that we were working with the water element, the kidney meridian, and the emotion of anxiety. And it was related, so it was showing some stress in the present and the future, but future was the priority that we were working with tonight. And um, we were looking at anxiety uh, in particular about a situation and it's an affirmation for you in relation to um, helping you move through any resistance to release that emotion. And that affirmation was around avoidance. So I hope that's been of benefit for you tonight. And um, I'm just gonna end our connection now. Okay, beautiful. Wonderful, okay. Um, so for those of you that are just joining in, welcome. It is such an absolute pleasure to be sharing the evening with you. My name is Donna from Unleash Your Vitality Kinesiology and I am offering free micro kinesiology balances every Wednesday night from 8.30 till 9.30. And um, if you are interested in finding out some more about kinesiology, I do invite you to pop over onto my Facebook page uh, there is a short little video clip that explains in more detail what kinesiology is and how it works and I'll pin that to the top of my page after this live. Um, I just jumped from my um, live on my page straight into this one so I haven't had a chance to do that yet but please do pop over. The link is in the comments whichever way that is for you on whatever device that you're watching or joining um, with us tonight. If you are interested in uh, receiving a kinesiology balance you're also able to book in from my Facebook page if that's something that you feel is resonating for you. Okay, 
So, um, just gonna pop out and back in. Okay, so Regina, uh, you've asked for a um, chakra balance. So I'll just connect in with you tonight. Okay, so I'm going to Okay, wonderful. So Regina, we're now connected and what I'm going to do is just go through and make sure our connection is as strong as possible. So I won't bear with me, I'm just going to go through some various acupressure points. Okay, so I'm just helping strengthen that connection, Regina, through your crown chakra. So if you could just take a nice deep breath for me. Melissa, you are more than welcome. I'm happy that I could help tonight. Okay. So Regina, hydration has come up for you as well. So if you have some water nearby, if you wouldn't mind taking a sip of water, holding it in your mouth for about 10 to 15 seconds. So just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian. Hey Tina. Okay. Hey Peter and Laura, welcome. Okay. So um, Regina, we're connected. So I'm just going to go through and scan through your chakras for you. So crown. So your brow chakra is showing some stress, throat, heart, heart, your heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral, your sacral chakra. Okay, so we'll just work out, so it's your brow, your heart and your sacral chakra. So I'll just work out which is the priority to um, offer you support, some support with the balance tonight, Regina. So brow, heart. Sacral. So tonight, Regina, is the sacral chakra. So we'll just dive into that a little bit deeper for you. So if you can please say to me, Regina, I deserve. I deserve. Okay. So is it inward? I'm going to check in with you, Regina. Something's just feeling a little bit um, stressed. So. Yeah. So I'm just going to offer you some more support through your crown chakra. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. So, we're looking at the sacral chakra. Is it the inward expression? Is it the outward? Okay. So, Regina, what's come up with you is some stress around your sacral expression for the outward expression of the chakra. Um, and it's come up with some stress around nourishing your senses. And that can be connecting to aromas, texture, taste, sensation, anything that you like and enjoy. So it's just indicating some stress around that for you. And learning to receive. So this chakra is also the key, Regina, to our um, creative energy. And artistic pursuits are motivated from this energy center. It's also the seat of our sexual energy and we can become out of alignment in this area. Um, if we have, I'll just go through and see which one it is for you. So, no, no, yeah. 
So if we're struggling to experience pleasure in life in general for you, for this one. So it might be, um, so for Regina, is it about connecting to something that makes her truly happy? Yeah. So that's why this one's out of alignment for you, Regina. It's about taking the time to connect to something that makes you truly happy. Like the kind of joy and happiness that you see kids get when they're running in the rain and jumping in paddles and they just don't care. They don't care that it's raining. They don't care that it's wet. They don't care what it's cold. They're just in that moment. And that's, that's the kind of joy um, that you're, that's coming up for you to connect back in with. So when this chakra is blocked, we can often experience a low sex drive, feelings of boredom or listlessness. Um, and sometimes it can lead to any addictive behaviors like food or shopping. Um, I know in mine that it's definitely shopping, <laughs> especially eBay. So, um. so for you, it's indicating some stress around feelings of boredom. Okay. So is there anything else that Regina needs? Are we ready to move on to a balance? Yeah, okay. So balancing for Regina tonight, are we looking at, um, are we looking at chakra? No, are we looking at emotion? Yeah, emotion. Okay. So Regina, what's come up for you tonight um, for your balance is an affirmation and it's affirmation around emotion. So what I'm going to do is go through and scan and find exactly which affirmation that it is that you need to tonight to support you. Okay. So that page. So emotion. So that page. So that page. 42 to 53, 54 to 64. 54 to 64. 65 to 75, 76 to 86, 76, 76. Okay, so we're just narrowing it down. Okay, 1 to 10, 12 to 12 to 20, 1 to 10, 12 to 20, 12. 13, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yep, 21 to 30, So Regina, what's come up for you is an affirmation to say with me two times now and then two times for the next two days. So if you can say for me, my mind lets go and embraces simplicity. So my mind lets go and embraces simplicity. So if you could say that Regina, two times for the next two days. Okay, is that the end of the balance for Regina? Yeah, wonderful. All right, Regina, I hope that was of some support for you. Please do pop in the comments, let me know how you're going. Um, and I will end our connection now. So Regina, yeah. So just before I end, your innate awareness is just asking for a little bit more support. So just before we um, finish up, so we're finishing up safely, energetically, safely, I'll just offer you some more support. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Regina. Okay.
Uh, so, okay. Wonderful. Just mentioning in as well. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So. Okay. Kerry. You've requested an emotional balance. Fantastic. All right. So let's do that together now. Thank you very much for your patience. I am having a bit of difficulty with the, um, the comment feed tonight. I'm not sure um, what's going on, but we are getting there together. So it's all good. Okay. So an emotional balance for Kerry. So I'll just connect through to you now. So Kerry, so I'm going to just say, Kerry. Wonderful. Okay, Kerry, so we are now um, connected energetically and um, I'm just going to make sure that connection is strong. Yep. So just checking your central meridian, spine, governing. Looking good. Okay. Wonderful. So doing an emotional balance for Kerry. Okay, so Kerry, just gonna work with the um, Chinese five element chart. We're gonna look at the element meridian and emotion for you. So is it fire? Is it earth? Is it metal? Is it water? Is it wood? Is it metal? So we're working with the metal element is it lung? Is it right chest line? And the large intestine meridian. So I'm just going to go through for you now, Kerry, and just find the uh, priority underlying emotion for you that needs um, that we're going to work on a balance for you with tonight. Okay. So large intestine is it guilt? So Kerry, there's just a little bit of stress as we went um, as we went through to start narrowing down the emotion for you. So I'm just offering you a little bit more support through your crown chakra. Okay. So large intestine is it guilt? So Kerry, just before we dive deeper into the emotions, I'm just going to give you some, some more support just to, um, just to provide you a little bit more safety, a little bit more comfort before we dive deeper. So as I'm sort of going into the emotions, what's happening is I can feel, um, I can feel some stress in our energy connection and I can feel it when I'm muscle monitoring. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to offer you some more support so then I can get a clearer reading from you. So. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, Kerry, is if I can get you to hold on your left hand, um, if you just want to wrap your hand around it, I'll hold the specific point and just touch the top of your head. So what we're working with is um, the acupressure point pericardium 6, and that's in your pericardium meridian, and we're working with GV20, which is on your governing meridian, and that helps release some stress, and in particular, some stress for you from the upper mental body. So um, often when that's under stress, it's because we're um, very active in our minds. 
and you just need a little bit of diffusion or, um, of the stress around that just to enable us to drop down a little bit deeper. Okay, all right. So we'll go again for you now, Carrie, it's feeling better. Okay, so we're working with large metal, large intestine. Okay, guilt, is it guilt? Grief, regret. Okay, grief, regret. And we're working, that's a lot better, Carrie. We're working with the emotion of release. Okay. So we're just gonna dive into that a little bit deeper for you. Okay, so looking into the emotion. So we're working with the metal, large intestine, release, timeline in the past. So that's coming up in the past for you, Kerry, as um, where the stress was generated from initially. So present, future, past. Okay. So Kerry, if I can just get, ask you to pop in the comments for me, if you don't mind sharing um, how, old, how old you are. And what I'll do is I'll just go back through your timeline. I'll just pick up any moments of stress around that particular feeling of release and um, include that into your balance for you. So we do have a bit of a lag in the comments. If I don't see something coming up, I'm just going to sort of start at something quite extreme and then just start jumping backwards for you. So just so that we don't um, hold up. So I'll just go back out and back in again. And then if I don't see a comment there, I'll just do what I mentioned. Okay. All right. So we're doing an emotional balance for Kerry around the emotion of release. So I'm just counting back and just adding in those moments of stress for you, Carrie. Okay, wonderful. So Kerry, I've gone through, I started at 80. Uh, I figured that was a pretty safe bet. So um, I've just gone through and added any moments of particular incident in your, um, in your past, in your timeline, where energetically your body has stored some stress around the emotion of release. And so that way, when we do the balance for you tonight, um, we're working and, re and <laughs> releasing um, through, through that sort of that timeline. So for example, if we've got a stress around a particular emotion, and it's generated from the past, but we only look at clearing it in the present. So if I just did a balance without collecting that for you, it might help relieve and support you. It might take the edge off, so to speak. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like a filing system. So, you know, 95% of that might have accumulated or built up in the past. And if I just work on the 5% here and help you support with that, then when you get another 5%, it's just going to tip you back to where you are now. However, if I go back and start trying to help you clear it from back here, it gives you more room to move and being able to manage that emotion. Okay, so is it within self? Within self. So in terms of a specific um, circumstance, what's coming up for you is um, within self. So it's a self-generated kind of stress at different times in your life. Um, where perhaps you put yourself under pressure um, or, or for whatever reason, but it is something that is not being projected onto you from another person. Um, you're not taking it from another person. It's not related to a situation. It's something internal for you. So I'll just have a look at any dynamics, anything that might be um, inhibiting you being able to release that tonight. 
So if you can say for me, Kerry, if you can say for me twice, I acknowledge and accept release for what it is. So I acknowledge and accept release for what it is. Wonderful. Okay. So just checking, is there anything else for Kerry's balance tonight? No. Um, are we ready to move on to our A balance? Yep. Okay. So are we looking at a uh, chakra balance? Yep. So um, Kerry, what's come up for you to help offer you some support around that is a chakra balance. So I'm just going to go through your chakras and see which one's indicating stress and which is the particular one that we need to work with tonight to help support you um, around the feeling of release. Okay. So crown, crown, brow, throat, heart. So it is the heart chakra that we're working with for you tonight, Kerry. So can you please say for me, I am love. So I am love. I can feel that for you. So just checking. Motion, middle, ear, no? Yep, and that's come up with um, with a strong positive read for you now. So, um, Kerry, I hope that was of benefit for you tonight. And um, please do let me know in the comments. That would be lovely how you're feeling. And um, I'll just end our connection now. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Um, so for those of you that have just popped on and joined, welcome. My name is Donna. I'm an internationally recognized kinesiologist and I'm offering free microkinesiology balances every Wednesday night from 8.30 to 9.30 um, around emotion, an emotional balance and a chakra balance. So Julie, Rebecca and Haley and Bev, welcome. Please do also let me know where you're coming from. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the live, we do broadcast globally. And so I always love to um, you know, meet people from around the world. It's such an amazing community that we have here tonight. So I'm just gonna pop out of the comments and back in so I get an updated um, thread. So thank you for your patience. Okay. Peter from Singapore, welcome. Welcome, it's lovely to have you here. Okay. So Belinda, you have asked for a chakra balance. So we will do that one for you now. Okay. Someone can get in there. So Belinda, I'm just supporting our connection just through the crown chakra. So just our initial connection didn't quite, didn't quite happen for us. Uh, yep. Which is great, which is why I often take some extra steps just to make sure um, that all, that we have a full connection. We had like partial, but we really want it to be a really strong connection. So I do do some, you know, uh, sort of above and beyond kind of steps just to make sure that we get that. So I'm just gonna go and double check again.
Fabulous, okay. Um, so Belinda, we are connected. So I'm just gonna go through and just triple check the strength of our connection. And then I'll be guided by your innate awareness for the chakra balance as to which one might be out of alignment and we can look into that a little bit further for you. So Belinda, um, hydration also came up for you from a kinesiology perspective. So if I can just ask you to take a sip of water and hold it in your mouth for about 10 to 15 seconds. So Belinda, um, chronic dehydration has come up for you as well from a kinesiology perspective. So there's acute, which is our day to day, and there's chronic, which is sort of more than one day. So um, if I can just ask you to take some more water and um, just wanted to raise that to your awareness that that's, um, that's indicating some stress for you. Fantastic. Crown, brow. So brow chakra is indicating stress for you, Belinda. Throat, heart, heart, solar plexus. The solar plexus chakra. And your root or your base chakra. So I'll just go through and find out which is the priority for, um, for us, for our balance tonight for you. So brow, no, solar plexus. So the priority for you tonight, Belinda, is the solar plexus chakra. So we'll just dive a little bit deeper into that for you. So if you can please say for me, I am, uh, hold on, no, wrong page, there you go. Didn't sound right. I am powerful, Belinda. If you can please say, I am powerful. Wonderful. Outward, outward. So for you, it's showing stress around the outward expression of that chakra. So there's an inward expression and an outward expression. And for you, it's showing some stress around the outward expression. Okay, moving through. What's indicating some stress for you, Belinda, is creating boundaries for yourself. So I'm just going through and scanning for you. Okay. And I'm just offering you some more support through your crown chakra. I could feel a little bit of um, stress building up there for you. So what really came up for you was um, learning to um, create boundaries for yourself and to hold those boundaries for yourself. This chakra is the chakra of our personal power. So it's our sense, it's, it's about our sense of self and our sense of self-esteem. Um, it's the chakra where our confidence comes from and our self-belief that what we have what we need for personal and life success. Okay. So when the solar plexus chakra is out of balance, we can have feelings of low self-esteem um, or just feeling like not good enough, just like generally day-to-day, -day, just feeling not quite good enough um, and with shaky confidence. So self-esteem... Okay, so does Belinda need an affirmation around the chakra? Okay, so Belinda, your innate awareness has directed me to an affirmation for you. So is it top section? Okay. Is it one to five? One to five. Six to ten. Eleven. Is it seven? Is it one to eight? 
the stuff that's right. Is that one there? Two of those. Okay, so Belinda, what's come up for you is an affirmation to say two times with me now and then two times again for the next two days. So um, it is I am willing and open to experience things as they are. So I am willing and open to experience things as they are. Wonderful. Okay, so if there is, um, we're using mental balance. Yep, there is the balance chakra. 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 Yep, crown. And so for you tonight, Belinda, um, what's come up for you is the solar plexus. So there were three chakras that were showing some stress. So the brow, the solar plexus, and the base chakra. But the solar plexus chakra was the chakra that was indicating as the priority for you. And I'll check the other ones before we finish off for tonight. And it was the outward expression of that chakra, in particular around creating and holding boundaries for yourself. So maintaining your own personal energetic space. And um, in order to balance that, what came up for you was the affirmation, I'm willing and open to experience things as they are, to, a tingly, uh, to say that twice now and two times for the next two days. And then also some extra support through your crown chakra. So if you can please say for me, I am that I am. So I am that I am. I'll just check those other chakras for you. So brow, solar plexus, spine. And they're showing up. They're showing up strong now. So um, I hope that was of benefit for you tonight. I'm glad that I was able to um, be here to offer you some support. So I'll just end our connection, Belinda. So. Fantastic. Okay. So um, thank you all very much for joining me tonight. Um, I am here every Wednesday night from 8.30 to 9.30. I do invite you to pop over and visit my Facebook page. The link is in the comments, whichever way that is. Um, so please do pop over. Uh, feel free to say hello from my Facebook page and just explore it. Um, as I mentioned, I'll pop a little video up at the end of this live, a little bit more about what kinesiology is. Um, and if it's resonated for you tonight in terms of something that um, a healing that you'd like to explore for where you are at now, you're also able to book in via my Facebook page. So it was an absolute pleasure to see you all tonight and I really do look forward to seeing you again, um, again next Wednesday night. Take care everyone. Bye.